Hello, it's Carolyn from The Purple Poncho. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to make this very pretty Tunisian stitch. I'm not sure of the name of it, but I'll show you how to make it. Here's the back. And the front. So let's get started. Today I'm using my Clover size J hook or six millimeter. And I'm just using some number four worsted weight yarn. And I will do a small sample here. The stitch count can be any number that you would like to make. Five, six, seven, eight. I'll just show you a demonstration of eight stitches. Rotate your work to the back and picking up a loop in the back bump. Insert your hook, yarn over, and pull up a loop. And now I like to tighten down that first stitch right here on my hook and continue picking up a loop in the back bump of each stitch across and the last stitch and I should have eight stitches on my hook yep eight stitches return pass as normal yarn over pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and repeat this all the way across. That's our foundation row. Now to begin our pattern repeat, we're going to Tunisian simple stitch, so insert your hook from right to left, underneath the vertical bar and then rotate your hook up a little bit and we're also going to put the hook under, underneath that first leg bar here of the chain that's in between our stitches. So yarn over and pull through and now we have a, one loop on our hook and then go into the next vertical bar underneath and then pick up that front loop or top loop there of the that's the return pass and yarn over pull up a loop and it's um, so we're working in the vertical bar like we normally would for a Tunisian simple stitch and we're also working in that top of that chain in between the stitches the stitches meaning the vertical bars. So in between the vertical bars we have a chain right there and we're just picking up that top loop. So again insert your hook for normal Tunisian stitch, simple stitch, and then go up and pick up or go under the, the chain there and yarn over and pull up a loop. And that's how we do this stitch. I'm not really sure what to call it. And then on the last vertical bar we're going to make sure we don't forget that last uh, chain there. Okay. And then on the end going through both loops on the edge as normal to do our last stitch. So we should have eight stitches. Yep, eight stitches. Return pass as normal, yarn over, pull through one, makes a chain, and yarn over, pull through two. All the way across. And that is the entire stitch. So, again, working 
into the vertical bar and then that top loop of the chain from the return pass that we just did. So insert your hook under the vertical bar and then that front loop of the return pass and yarn over and pull up a loop. And it flattens out your stitches a little bit. It's a little flatter than um, a normal Tunisian stitch because we are working in the return pass at the same time. And then at the last stitch, don't forget to pick up that chain, top loop of that chain of your normal stitch and then on the very end for your last stitch of the row go through both loops on the edge yarn over and pull up a loop return yarn over pull through one makes a chain and yarn over pull through two so that's a normal return pass standard return pass so to bind off in this stitch we're just going to insert our hook as normal, yarn over, and slip stitch. Going through the vertical bar in the front loop of the chain, pull yarn over, pull up a loop, and slip stitch. So working off each stitch as we go. So pull up a loop and slip stitch all the way across. the last stitch and then the very edge stitch don't forget to do this one and slip stitch so it it feels a little flatter than like I said a normal Tunisian stitch isn't that pretty? here's the back And here's the colorful one. And I like the way the colors come out in this. Just randomly appearing. It's so beautiful. And here's the back. The back looks gorgeous on this. And this uh, spa cloth is on my website, thepurpleponcho.com. It's part of the spa cloth series. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to make this beautiful stitch. If you found value in this video tutorial, please like and share it with your friends. I would really appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, I hope you will subscribe and join us again for another Tunisian tutorial coming soon and I appreciate you being here today and thank you for crocheting with me. Have a wonderful day.